Mr. Minister, what will it take to restore French trust in the United States? The atmosphere was icy, if a little awkward, as the top U.S. diplomat sat down for talks with his counterpart in Paris. His meeting with President Emmanuel Macron at the Elysee wasn't open to the press. Antony Blinken's visit comes almost three weeks after a bombshell announcement by the US, Australia and the UK about their new military pact threw their relations with France into disarray. It's a far cry from Blinken's previous stay in Paris. Back in June, Jean-Yves Le Drian was all smiles as he received the French-educated US Secretary of State. Unbeknownst to the French government at the time, the Biden administration was deep in talks with Canberra and London, which would see Australia scrap its deal to buy French submarines. When the trio made the announcement on the 15th of September, Le Drian described it as a stab in the back and briefly recalled France's ambassador to the US. French officials have said that the AUKUS pact was a wake-up call for fellow Europeans. At an informal EU summit, President Macron is set to call for a greater European role in the Indo-Pacific and for building its own military capacity within the NATO framework. Tensions with the US may have thawed a little since Macron talked with Biden on the phone two weeks ago. But the French president is still livid with Australia. A long-planned round of free trade talks between Canberra and the European Union has been postponed.